Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I'm going to show you how to colorize a photograph in Illuminar Neo using toning and layers. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to bring in a photograph. I've already brought in this photograph right here, uh, which I downloaded from Pixabay. And uh, this is a pretty good uh, photograph to show uh, colorization on. And uh, so, so to start off with, I'm going to try to make the skin tone a little warmer. So right now, it's just a black and white photograph. And we're going to go down to toning here. And uh, we're going to go to uh, saturation. And bring up the saturation level. Then we can mess with the hue until we get a, a, a tone that we kind of like. And we're going to mess with the amount to intensify it. Um, and... Uh, we don't want it too red or too green, so we're going to put it somewhere in between right there. So that looks pretty good. Uh, we're not going to spend a lot of time with the masking and stuff on this image. This is just to show the concept. So, so when you do this, you might spend a little bit more time refining it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in uh, another layer, and it's going to be the exact same picture. So I already have the picture right here because I've already brought it in. And so what we're going to do here is if you see up here under layer properties, opacity, if I put it to 100%, it's now like a regular black and white photograph. By default, it starts at 50%. And uh, so if we go down all the way to uh, zero opacity then all of the the uh, bottom layer is coming through and none of the top layer is coming through so we're going to put it to 100% opacity for now now I'm going to go back down to toning and I want to tone the eyes so I'm going to turn the saturation up and I'm going to go over here to blue and, and I'm going to bring the amount up until I get a uh, a color that I'd like for the eye I think that would be a pretty good eye color right there so now the problem is is the skin is blue right so we're going to go back up to the layer properties and we're going to go to mask right here and we want it set on this brush right here if we put it on the eraser it will actually uh, erase uh, and show anything through from the bottom but because we only want to have the uh, eyes remaining on this particular layer if we go by the brush it will actually just um, color in anything that we want to keep so if we go over here to uh, let's reduce the size a little bit if we go over here to this eye you can see we can see through it and if we uh, let go of the mask now that eye is coming through right there So we, we can uh, bring the color into the eye uh, however we want to. All right, that looks pretty good for now. Uh, now the other thing we can do is we can also go back up to the opacity and change that on the eyes so we can change the intensity however we want it to so we so we can let some transparency through to make it uh, look slightly different to mute it a little bit and so as we change the opacity uh, just this is just done to taste however you want it if you want it very muted like that or if you want it more intense we can use the opacity to change that all right so now we've colored in the eyes right here and so we may want to uh, 
color in the lips or change the color of the lips as well in this particular photograph. Now you can do this with any, with any photograph, obviously. You don't have to just use a, a portrait or something. So, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to add this layer again. And if, once again, if we bring the opacity way up, you can see it goes back to regular black and white. I'm going to go back down to toning again. And uh, let's bring up the saturation to activate this. And uh, the amount a little more. And we're going to go over to a red color right here. And this time we're going to color in the lips. We're going to go back up to uh, layer property. And we're going to go to uh, the masking. And once again, we're going to just color in the lips. I'm going to bring the size of this up a little bit. So now we can uh, go in here. like that and we can now uh, let's bring the size down a little bit so we can color in the lip like that and we can uh, we can once again we can change the opacity and we can mess with the masking to get it however we want to get it to so so now we have now so now we've colorized this picture using layers and uh toning i'm dean and this has been photo blue and i'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.